live at the Grey Hall on Green Street West for the Super Kick Wrestling event. It's live for last week episode number nine. Welcome my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Coming off a decent one-to-one -one night shift last night, I found my latest Jaywalker POV YouTube subscriber. Yo, check it out guys. My latest subscriber and my sidekick for the night. I see you, Max. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Yo, good night shift last night? That was a good nation. Great nation. No, yeah. no complaints, man. It's nice working with you. Hope to work with you again sometime in the future. All right, all right. And being motivated by ICU Max critiquing my exercise form, in this workout video with one of my co-workers, Crystal, I was ready to get on the stationary bike to do a post-night shift workout while eating my morning breakfast for about an hour before having my post-night shift nap. Which wasn't good at all, because I only got a record of 15 minutes of sleep post-night shift. So as usual, I decided to be productive, editing some live from last week footage this afternoon, before driving in this thick, ominous-looking Scarborough fog, to head to Pickering to meet up with my parents and my sister visiting in from Ottawa at one of our favorite restaurants that we've been to several times in the past. The one, the only, all-you-can-eat, Makimono. I then decided to spend a little more time with the little sister driving all the way to Ajax to check out the hotel where she's staying for the night. Kidding. And the hail tin. Hotel. Hotel. Is the hail tin. With a. Uh, what is it called? Wow, I get to see Lexus across the street. <laughs> and also getting a second workout of the day done while I'm here. So after our hotel workout, I said bye to the sis, drove home to pass out on the couch where I actually got a decent sleep in, and got up early to get some breakfast ready for the wife to surprise her when she got in from her night shift. I then tried to pass out on the den bed with all of this clean laundry on it, catching up on all the sleep that I missed out on from yesterday, and did a nice quick stationary bike session for about an hour before going in for my night shift tonight. I also managed to secure some tickets to the super kicked wrestling show on Friday night, that me and a couple of buddies are pretty excited to go to. So I'm really looking forward to getting these two night shifts done tonight and tomorrow night so that I can bring you guys in with me to check out this exciting event on Friday night. After enjoying this nice view of the Toronto skyline yesterday evening, I worked my night shift and got to check out the new schedule for both February and March. But guys, check this out. This was the work schedule that was given to me starting February 6th. Work off, work off, work, work off. Work, work, off, off, work, 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 work. Off, work, work, off, off, off. Work, work, off, work, off, work, work, work. 
Off work, off, off work, work, work. Off, off work, off work. Not including my hour each way in my commute and inability to rest in between my night shifts. Out of 41 days on the calendar, guys, I'll be working 24 night shifts. During that time frame, I'll be spending almost 60% of my life at work. And these shifts, guys, are 12 plus hours of work. Not mentioning that I'm contracted, supposed to be working as a part-timer. But what I did do to have something to look forward to is that during my break, I was able to find this amazing deal from Porter Airlines, who are coming out with this new service out of Pearson Airport with this promotion included in the ticket price. And with limited time offer seats starting at $1, including taxes and fees, it came out to about $50 each way. So guys, guess who was able to book a less than $100 round trip flight to Ottawa to visit the sister for a couple of days in early February. P.S. This is also a shout out to some of my Ottawa friends out there that I'll be in town and set for a possible reunion with some of y'all in early February. Anyways, after doing a quick session on the stationary bike, breaking out in sweat for 30 minutes or so, and before I go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends who I last saw randomly in the summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Yukari. Happy birthday, Yukari. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your friends and family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night, being dropped off at the subway station to take the TTC into work for the first time in a while. This morning, I was back on the TTC to take my commute back home when I stumbled upon a couple of these ads on Facebook Marketplace. And with the options I had, I thought to do a random long adventure after my night shift all the way to Ajax to buy the more affordable dumbbell set. As there were ads priced like this for a couple of dumbbell sets that I had my eyes on for the past couple of months. But when I got home after my 60 minute commute, I realized that it would be too much of a trek to go all the way to Ajax post night shift on minimal sleep. But as I was ready to shower up and nap, I saw this beauty of a Facebook ad which was only a 15 minute drive from the condo. So I got excited, let the wife know I was running an errand, took the keys to the car and made my way to pick up these bad boys. Which was actually from a pretty cool guy who had to move to Alberta and couldn't bring these dumbbells with him. But if I was to give him a Facebook Marketplace rating, I would definitely give him 5 stars out of 5 and wish him the best of luck with his move. Thanks again, Gore. Your dumbbells will be in good hands. Anyways, after hauling these babies to the locker to hide them from the wife for the time being, I tried to pass out at noon on the couch. But I'm guessing, throwing back to this scene from earlier this week, I also managed to secure some tickets to the super kicked wrestling show on Friday night. I just couldn't stay asleep for long. Being pretty excited to watch the super kicked event that's set for tonight. So guys, instead of sleeping, I stayed up this afternoon watching on YouTube tapings of previous super kicked events in the past. While of course, editing some live from last week footage in the foreground. And yeah, before I forget, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my titas out there. This is a belated birthday greeting to you, Tita Ping. Happy birthday, Tita Ping. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Moving on, finally, to our main event of the evening, where me and a couple of buddies are currently in the Queen West area to check out the aforementioned Super Kicked Pro Wrestling Rock Show located here at the Great Hall.
Man, was that ever a fun night with my buddies, Lee and Blair. And honestly, guys, that super cake show was probably the best value for your money, the best 25 bucks that I've ever spent at a wrestling show. Especially considering several of these clips that I took from last night. And one of my favorite parts of the show was not necessarily the wrestlers, but in fact, getting to see the live reaction of my friends to the jam-packed action that we witnessed last night. The event was also topped off with the biggest surprise when yours truly met live and in person the super kicked 420 champion. Yo, Taylor Rising, the new 420 champion. <laughs> Yo, it was great watching you. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Anyways, on to today, where after catching up on a bit of lost sleep from yesterday, I was once again on the stationary bike, getting in an hour-long cardio session, and elevating my heart rate up to the high 170s. And after resting up a little bit, before I go in for my first of my scheduled two weekend night shifts, we have several birthday shoutouts for you guys today, starting out with one of our friends back in our FSAT days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Isabel. Happy birthday, Isabel. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers with whom I started out my career with at the hospital. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Justina. Happy birthday, Justina. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my Wysik slash university friends who taught me a little bit of martial arts in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. Also, a birthday shout out to one of my university classmates with whom I graduated with back in 2009. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jania. Happy birthday, Jania. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my SMIOA buddies slash family friends that I know back in the States. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Fredell. Happy birthday, Fredell. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And speaking of birthdays, before we go in for our shift, we're actually planning to visit one of my former co-workers, who you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes in the past. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You called him sick for me. <laughs> Man, was that ever a fun time reuniting with Bilas for the first time this year? Which was pre night shift, might I add? And to be honest, having me have FOMO while I was working at work. But either way, recalling this scene from last week's episode, we next checked out Foodie World to check out their Chinese New Year displays, and all these fun things that we found on the shelves. This is what we gifted him for his birthday. Thank you, dear. Happy, happy Chinese New Year. Which, as a matter of fact, is a great segue, because today we're celebrating Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year, everyone! So, just like a New Year's resolution, I started to do what I did New Year's previous, doing 100 push-ups total today, 50 reps when I got off night shift this morning, and after taking a nap, doing 50 more push-ups, which were also, by the way, completed prior to another 60-minute session on the stationary bike. And throwing back to this scene from last year, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something on the wall that really caught my attention. I bought a new jersey for my ever-going jersey collection. I'm finally able to break out that rare Toronto Raptors Chinese New Year's jersey that I bought. But unfortunately, I'll be changing out of it for tonight in order to wear these scrub babies 
instead. Because guys, I've got one more night shift tonight. But before I go to work, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my FSAT friends out there who I last saw at Joey's Yorkdale. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Henry. Happy birthday, Henry. I've also got a birthday shout out to another university friend of whom is a live streamer in the States. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Stefan. Happy birthday, Stefan. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to the one and only former co-worker with whom I celebrated his birthday with last night. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bilas. Happy birthday, Bilas. I'm hoping that all y'all that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, with it being January 23rd, I just want to wish everybody out there a happy 0123 day. Happy 123 day, guys! And on a day after we had a Chinese New Year soup and noodles takeout feast, me going for my night shift wearing my lucky red scrubs, and having a beautiful winter wonderland type of commute home, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Bon fête à toi. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Anyways, this evening, the wife and I went to Mississauga to reunite with the Saga family, having Korean food for dinner at this place called K Pacha, which is known for the fried chicken and one of the dishes that I would highly recommend while you're here, the hot poutine. Then for dessert, just like this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode last year. Oh, this is too much McDonald's at one time. <laughs> we got the classic McDonald's Smarties McFlurry. But yeah, going back to me taking a record of my post-night shift nap from earlier today, not getting any adequate sleep over the past few days, as you guys can see here, we're throwing back to this scene from last week. We have some big news to tell you all. Something that we've actually been working on for the past couple of years. So I'm hoping that you guys will tune in to next week's episode to find out what that surprise actually is. And I'm thinking I'm not able to get adequate sleep because I'm just too excited to tell you guys some big news. Going back to this momentous occasion where I went to a local bank branch to get adequate funds to buy the now famous Mini, Today, we made a core memory with this major life event. Take one of these. All right. So I want to do a cheers to the wife. After more than five years of hard work, overtime, and several years of saving, I just wanted to say, today, we paid off the mortgage for the condo. Woo! Wow. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just beer. Oh, congrats! Woo, congrats. Wow. We are now mortgage free! <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! And with that big news, we'll wrap up this week's Live from Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow JWalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.